Yo guys, so we're going to be taking a look at TFU's newly built keyboard today. I'll be explaining each component of his new keyboard, which consists of the following. His keyboard and key switches, the rubber keycaps that he uses, the custom keycap set, the extra keys such as the escape key, backspace key and enter key, the new o-rings that TFU uses, and finally the new custom spacebar. So let's begin with TFU's keyboard and key switches. The keyboard that TFU uses is the Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB LED 60% keyboard. Now this keyboard is actually different to his previous keyboard if anyone's checked out my other video that I made on his keyboard. Um, how this is different is the base of the keyboard is actually a different colour, it's more of a navy blue, whereas the original Ducky 1-2 Mini has a black base. Now I think that TFU has a yet to be released version of the keyboard, or it's possible that it could just be custom painted, but from what I know so far from researching that you can't buy this specific colour way in this keyboard yet, but if this does happen to be released, I'll make sure to update the links in the description below. Now if you want to buy this keyboard, you can go to mechanicalkeyboards.com if you're in the US. For Europe, you can go to Candy Keys. And if you're in the UK, you can go to Overclockers. I just want to mention one thing, that if you do purchase from Overclockers, you will get the UK version of the keyboard. Now what this means is that the Enter key will actually be the UK version, so it'll be a lot bigger. Now in my opinion, I don't like this, so when I purchased this keyboard, I just ended up buying from Candy Keys, just because I wanted the US version of the keyboard and not the UK version, so just bear that in mind. The key switches that TFU uses is the Cherry MX Brown key switches. If you're wondering which key switch to buy, I'd recommend just buying a key switch tester. Now on Amazon or eBay, these are about £10 or $15. Now what these do is, these allow you to just to press each keycap, just so you know what it feels like. So you can get a rough idea before you actually buy a keyboard with them key switches. So yeah, I'd recommend doing that. You'll get a feel for each key switch and you'll know which one feels the best for you. Just from my last video, I got some comments saying that some people went with the brown switches because Tifu went for it and they ended up not liking the feel of the switches. So just, I'd recommend doing that. Now let's move on to the rubber keycaps on Tifu's keyboard. Tifu uses the rubber gaming backlit keycaps from Taihao. These are in the colour neon blue. These cover keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, F. To buy these keycaps, just head over to Taihao. The links will be in the description. Make sure you select the 18 key option. For the other rubber keycaps, these are the neon pink by the same company, Taihao. But with these, is they're actually not released yet. So how Tifu ended up getting these is he actually purchased them from the Mass Drop bundle. When this was a thing and when the bundle was active, Mass Drop gave four extra blank keycaps of your choice. So you could have neon blue, neon pink, and Tifu ended up buying two of these. So he got eight extra blank neon keycap. Now I've contacted support and if you head over to Taihao and you go to the rubber key, rubber gaming backlit keycaps, and then go under the blank rubber keycaps, you can get four keys. Right now you can get the blank neon blue, neon orange, neon green, but you can't get neon pink, but these are gonna be releasing uh, early 2019. So it should be really soon within this month or next month. If you do choose to buy any of these blank rubber gaming keycaps from Taihao, make sure to scroll into the description and make sure you get the right size. So if you are gonna go with the Z, X, C, V and B keys, like Tfue has, make sure you get the R1 type. You just don't wanna get the wrong size key or it'll look very wonky on your keyboard. And on Tfue's keyboard, the neon pink rubber keycaps cover keys 7, 8, 9, 0, Z, X, C and V. So next we have Tfue's keycap set. Now the keycap set that Tfue has is called MKX Ducky Good and Blue keycap set. You can buy this keycap set via Mechanical Keyboards. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. Now for the other regions, I couldn't find a link unfortunately, but I'll keep looking. And if one appears to pop up, I'll make sure to link it in the description below. So sorry about that guys. I just want to mention the Mechanical Keyboards do ship globally. It's just at a shipping cost. Whereas if you're in the US, it's free shipping. Now let's move on to the extra keys that Tfue uses. Now these extra keys cover the escape key, back key and enter key. 
and these actually come with the keyboard itself when you purchase. Uh, what Ducky do is that they actually bundle 12 extra keycaps, um, which are just a different colour. Now when I got mine, I got purple, but I believe you can request a certain colour, or it's possible that it's just random. I know on some websites there's like a drop down where you can select like random as the free bonus. But I just recommend contacting the site that you purchased the keyboard from and asking them. Tfue has these extra keys in the pink colour variant. Next is Tfue's new O-rings. Now if you watched my previous video, Tfue actually used a 70A hardness ring. I'll have a link to that if you want to check it out. Um, but now he's actually moved down a little bit to, to a less hardness, which is the 60A hardness O-rings. These particular o-rings come in a navy blue colour. If you want to buy these o-rings, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, you can just head over to Mechanical Keyboards. I can only find the 60A hard rings from Mechanical Keyboards. So if you're from anywhere that's not the US, unfortunately you're going to have to pay for shipping. But it won't be too much because they're only little. And now finally for the custom spacebar that Tfue uses. Now this spacebar is truly custom as it's only been built for Tfue himself. Now, I'm not sure if the manufacturer of this spacebar was a friend or a phase member or some some company, but if these do decide to mass produce this, this spacebar in the future, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. But for now, it's it's only been built for, uh, for Tfue himself. So yeah, it's, it's impossible for anyone to buy it at this current time. But yeah, if it becomes available, check back on the video and I'll have a link for you. And yeah, guys, that's each component of Tfue's new keyboard explained. All the links to everything covered in this video will be in the description. For those that are actually considering buying a 60% keyboard like Tfue, I just want to show you guys a graphic that I made from one of my other videos, which is Tfue's Fortnite settings and keybinds. Now what this graphic is, is it's his keyboard finger placement, which I think might actually benefit you guys for those who are new to 60% keyboards and don't know exactly where to place the fingers. So yeah, let's take a look. So starting off, as you can see, is pinky finger. He uses that as left control and left shift. For Tfue's ring finger, he uses that for escape, one, two, tab, caps lock, Q, A, and Z. For Tfue's middle finger, he just uses that for W and S. For Tfue's index finger, he uses that to press 3, 4, 5, 6, E, R, T, D, F, and G. And finally, for Tfue's thumb, he uses left alt, spacebar, X, C, V, B, and M. And here's just the final graphic, just showing the colour combinations of the finger to the button pressed. And yeah guys, that's all from me for now. Um, if this video helped you at all, you can support me just by putting code life in the item shop. And yeah, it helps out the channel a bunch, guys, so thank you very much. If you guys have any questions regarding the, his keyboard or anything keyboard related, just put it in the comments below and I'll try and get to you. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.